Hey everybody and welcome to the bullshit party! And because of the many 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 requests that I've been getting, in this one we're gonna be winning the podium vehicle on PC. If you wanna see that, keep watching. But before we do that, I'd like to take a second and thank World of Tanks for sponsoring this video. If you somehow have not heard of World of Tanks, well let me explain what it is. It's an online multiplayer battle tank simulator that you can play with your friends and choose from 11 nations of tanks and 30 plus maps inspired by real world locations. And you can do this in multiple game modes. And if you want to join the tank awesomeness right now, you can do so with a special invite called Tanktastic, which is going to give you 7 premium days, 500 gold and a premium tank. So if you're a new player, make sure you click the link in the description box and use code Tanktastic to get all the goodies we just spoke about. Thank you to World of Tanks for supporting this video, and I'll see you all on the battlefield. Tanktastic. And regarding the wheel, the first thing that I want to mention is that you need a fresh wheel in order to do this. If you've seen my console tutorials before, you'll know what a fresh wheel is, but in case you're new, a fresh wheel is where the clothing's on the top and the car is two spaces to the left of it. Or in simpler words, your wheel needs to look exactly like mine. And to make sure you get a fresh wheel every single time, I suggest you do this. Load the game in story mode, then go to settings, the online tab, play GT Online and click on solo session. And this is a feature that the consoles don't have and the benefit here is not only that you're getting a fresh wheel every single time, but also the game loads insanely fast. And no, not that fast, this was edited, but you get my point. And as you see, the game loads me in my casino penthouse and I suggest all of you to buy the casino penthouse since it's gonna cut down on a lot of loading time if you don't get the car first time around. And back to the casino floor, just to make everything a little bit easier for you, I'm gonna put an on-screen timer, just so you can time yourself better when we spin the wheel. And since everybody has their own preference, some people wanna watch the video and then do it on their own, others wanna sync their game to my footage, I'm gonna be showing you the entire process, including hitting the prompt to spin the wheel. And all that's left right now is just go ahead and spin the wheel. Easy. But before we go ahead and do that, as always, I have a question for you. How many times it took you to win the vehicle? Leave your comment down below. Of course, that's after you want it. First things first, we go to the wheel and hit the button to get it started. And now we're just waiting for the prompt on the top left hand side to show so we can start the timer. And around the 2 second mark, tap and hold for a moment the S key to spin the wheel. And if you're at this point and you see that the wheel is not gonna land on the vehicle space, force quit out of the game. You can do this either with the task manager or just stop your internet. This way you'll be able to spin the wheel again in case you don't get it your first time around. But hopefully you didn't need to do that and hopefully at this point you have the vehicle in which case congratulations. If you still have any questions in regards to the wheel, the video and the preparation for everything, I made a video a couple of weeks ago answering your guys' most frequent comments. And I'm gonna put a card with that video right here. And that'll be a wrap up for this one. Thank you so much to everybody who watched this far. If you liked the video, don't forget to like. If you're not a subscriber, make sure you subscribe. If you want to play World of Tanks, make sure you follow the link in the description box and use the promo code TANKTASTIC. And I'll catch you in the next one.